The Kruger National Park houses the single largest African wild dog population in Africa. These dogs are still under threat, mostly from human-animal conflict. Snares like these, set by bushmeat poachers, are an increasing concern as wild dogs also get caught in these deadly traps. To protect the species, one adult female in each pack is fitted with a radio collar. It's a collar that has a GPS unit on it, or in the collar. That GPS unit connects to a satellite so we can remotely see where wild dogs are, which is really important when wild dogs go into areas of high threat or high risk. The wild dog population in the Kruger National Park was the first viable population in the country. This helped establish a second viable population group spread over several reserves nationally. And that population has increased to the point where now those wild dogs can be introduced into reserves outside of South Africa. So the focus was into Mozambique. The first focus um, has got a lot of media attention around Gorongosa, where the population has flourished and done well. African wild dogs are a keystone species. If you conserve or protect that individual species, then by default it's protected a whole lot of other species and the reason why a wild dog is is because they're incredibly wide-ranging so they they require incredibly large areas so just by having an area large enough to conserve or protect a single pack of wild dogs you then indirectly conserving a whole lot of other species the future of the species is still in the balance but the scale is starting to tip in their favor well it's something to bark about. Lila Magnus, SABC News, Kruger National Park, Mpumalanga.